so I finished milking a little bit ago. I've been trying to get some chores done quickly because uh, we're having some friends from church come over. They want to see the animals. All six piglets here alive, and the four big ones are alive in there. Life is good. Getting some chores done. I will see you guys in a bit. I don't know if you guys can see those deer over the top of Prudence there. I've seen a few the last couple nights. So they, today was kind of an uneventful day. I'm over by the ducks, so they're not going to let me talk. I don't know if you can see the deer over top of me, back over there. Um, uneventful day. We went to our Financial Peace University, the Dave Ramsey class. It was good. Uh, getting started on budgeting this month. Um, I will show you. I'm going to milk quick. I'm going to give the milk to the pigs, so I will show you the piglets after I milk. Other than that, um, I wanted to give you a little update on the new Fitbit, this one. Um, I really like it. I don't have to worry about water with it. And then, if I switch hands here, I'll show you the new strap on my watch. It's nylon. It's that NATO strap that I had done a, a video on a while back. Really like that as well. It's it's far more comfortable than the one that came with it. The one that came with it was like a rubberized plastic. Uh, it was never that comfortable, um, kind of sweaty underneath it. This is not sweaty underneath it. The one thing I have to say with this one is when you get it wet, um, nylon, you know, holds some water. So it dries out pretty quickly, but it does hold some water. So very happy with those two things right now. I'm going to head out and milk. I'll show you guys the piglets in just a second. This is my view while milking today. You can see there's one deer on the right and there's another one behind the grass there. It's moving right now. Not a bad view. So these six guys are doing great. Knock on wood. Looking good. And then these guys, one of them was just running around. Oh, there they are. There's three of them. You can see them. One, two, three. I don't know if the fourth one's out here too. Nope, just those three. You can see them. I don't know if I was pointing the camera in the right direction. So I'm hoping number four, yeah, number four is just hanging out in here. Looks good. So all 10 piglets are doing good. The weather's gonna be beautiful sleeping weather tonight. See there they are. Those three are just running around. Now, my one concern is that those guys are probably still small enough that they could crawl through the holes there but unless I take like some chicken wire or something and put them over there, there's not a whole lot I can do. You can see, I just fed them their milk. They've got their nose in the trough and they've got their nose in the trough. It was kind of cool. So the whole time I was milking, those two, they looked like young does, were over there in that corner. And when we started, you can see the tall patch of grass over there, maybe. Um, I couldn't hardly see the one, but I could see the other one because it wasn't behind that tall grass. And I'm thinking to myself, they'd probably been there the whole time, you know, before we got the hayfield cut, but I just couldn't see them. So they look pretty young. Nothing that would be shot this year. Um, Michigan just, the DNR, I think it was the DNR, just shot down, uh, pushed by hunters to have um, mandatory antler point restrictions, which I think was a mistake, but what are you going to do? So all in all, it was a great day. My back feels much better. It's still, there's, the twinge is still there. But I didn't take any ibuprofen or anything for it today, so assuming we can do well tonight, life will be good. You can see those piglets falling around mama. And the other one's poking his nose out. I don't know if you guys can see. Right in that hole right there. So, but they're doing good. Um, life is good if you haven't already. Click on that subscribe button. And the other thing I want you to do is I'm going to try to put the, in the uh, description below. Uh, Mike and Jenny Pratt from the Pratt Family Homestead have made a um, Facebook page for our Hoot Nanny. We, um, they've actually added a couple more YouTube channels. One of which is, I think his name is Aaron the Barn Geek. He's got a YouTube channel. Um, and I was looking around his website, which is Trouble. Because like I said, we went to the Financial Peace University um, class tonight. We're going to be doing a full budget this week. But I was looking at his website and I was like, oh, that barn's awesome. Oh, that barn's awesome. So I'm going to have to put like a, start a, a fund for barn plans. Oh, here comes the fourth one. So 
check him out. I will put the um, link in the information below. Um, if you're within um, driving distance and you have a YouTube channel and you want to come, let Mike and um, Jenny know. We'll put you guys on the website, and uh, we'd love to see them more the merrier. So, until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video.